we often blame our past life and past decisions for our current sufferings and pains many times we judge others through the lens of their past achievements and the results they have achieved this story of buddha tells us the fundamental challenge with this approach and the significance of the intensity of craving to change and the role of decisions in bringing about the desired change in our lives irrespective of our past life and past results once a criminal wanted to get initiated into dhamma by buddha he was an infamous thief and murderer he reached the monastery where buddha was staying for his rainy retreat he was well known in the area and he knew that if people saw him around the monastery they will never let him enter the monastery and he would not be able to see buddha so he came at a time when there were not many people in the monastery he thought if he entered the monastery from the main gate he will get caught so he decided to jump through the high wall of the monastery to get inside unfortunately for him when he entered the premises buddha was not present in the monastery as he was out for his alms round he was caught by the disciples of buddha the disciples were surprised to find a criminal inside the monastery he pleaded that he had not entered the monastery to steal anything when questioned he told them the truth that he did not enter the monastery through the main gate because he was afraid that he won't be allowed to enter inside the monastery as he was the most dreaded and hated figure in the area no one would believe that he wanted to become a bhikkhu and get initiated into dhamma the disciples took the criminal to sariputta one of the chief disciples of buddha sariputta had the power to look into the past lives of people they asked him to look into his past lives they requested that though he is one of the most dreaded criminals in the area he might have earned some virtue in his past lives and that's why he might have gained the motivation to take the refuge in dhamma sariputta meditated and looked at thousands of his past lives he could see that the person was always a sinner in all his lives there was not even a single birth in which he would have gained some virtue sariputta asked the disciples to take the criminal out of the premises as there was no hope for him he was turned down from the monastery the criminal was very disappointed he was well aware of the power and insights of sariputta and felt that now no one can help him there was no hope of him becoming a disciple of buddha so he thought that he would rather end the life of a sinner he went outside and thought of committing suicide by banging his head on a large stone in the corner wall of the monastery at that very moment buddha returned after his arms round he saw the man and went to him he took him inside the monastery and initiated him into dhamma within 7 days he became an arhat and gained insight into the true nature of existence sariputta was very puzzled he went to buddha and asked him if all his insight and power to look into the past of the people was useless he asked that he looked into several thousand of the births of the criminal and in every birth he was a sinner then how did he attain arhatship within 7 days was his astrology useless buddha said you looked into his past but not into his future past is past the moment a person decides to change he can change himself the very decision and the intensity of longing to change are decisive he had an intense desire to change and so he was able to attain arhatship even with thousands of lives of suffering and sins if you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up we are constantly coming out with new videos on the life of buddha and the buddhist heritage if the information provided by the video was useful please subscribe to the channel for similar videos on buddhism please share your thoughts on the significance of the past compared to the role of decisions in attaining the desired change in life in the comment section below